Hi, it's Sarah with House Copper. Today I'm going to show you the beading machine. It is used to put a pattern inside a tin or copper sheet metal, which primarily is for strengthening the metal. It does look decorative. There are multiple different kinds of beads that are interchangeable on the machine. Um, there's the single, the double, the triple, the OG. Um, there's a couple more specialty ones and um, they do look nice. They can be used decoratively, but most of the time they were used to strengthen the metal so it uh, work hardened it without you having to hammer it. Um, it does make the metal a little more brittle, so after um, you do this, you're really gonna have a hard time shaping it over a stake or trying to round it out. So you want to do this toward the end of your process when your piece is pretty well finished. Um, it may even have the bottom on it already, um, depending on what you're making. So it's, it's kind of a toward the end of the road process in your manufacturing. Um, and like I said, you know, it does have interchangeable beads. They um, are sized based on the diameter of the shafts. So if you are in possession of one of these machines and you want to get different beads, do measure um, the diameter and it's really tight so you could be looking at sometimes an eighth of an inch difference and uh, suddenly your bees won't fit and uh, they're really hard to machine out to fit a larger diameter shaft because um, then they don't run true. So I'm gonna show you how it works really quick. It's pretty easy to understand but here we go. All right here is a rather large beading machine. Sometimes you see them a little smaller. I mean Here's my hand in comparison to it. It's, um, granted I have big hands for a, a chick, but still, um, here's your beads. Uh, mine come off with these uh, type of knots. Yours might be different. Um, Bob and I often put these little tin or uh, stainless shields just to help with the rubbing against the iron when you're running something through. Um, this is an open gearbox, so it is an earlier um, make. Um, it's made by Wilcox, again, before they became Peck Stowe. Um, uh, so what you're uh, gonna do, and I'm gonna try and do this, you um, do it one-handed, which is always a feat in itself. You're going to put where, uh, you know, wherever you um, want your, your piece. And again, this can be slid all up and down this shaft. So you can get a piece pretty deep on here. Um, let's, uh, let me, let me put on the camera and get it ready to go. I'm just going to crank this down and then I'll show you how it works. Okay. So I've cranked it down. So now it's sitting in there. Uh, something else to be aware of, um, see the crimp, the crimp seam here, uh, see how this side's open and this side is actually just, um, you know, uh, bent over, but it's not the actual entry of the seam. You want to watch it so that when you run these through your, um, you're starting in an area where you're gonna um, not disrupt that seam going through. All right, so you wanna keep this completely parallel to the shaft. And let's see if I can do this one-handedly. Maybe I can, maybe not. My standard isn't very tight, but see how tight it is over the seam? I'm only gonna do that once, and then probably never again, because it is going to, um, wreck your machine so you can sometimes Bob doesn't even go over the seam which is fine you can do whatever you want um, and as you can tell because I'm not holding it against the stopper it's already coming out but you are going to go through this over and over I'm gonna see if I can set this up and show you from the other angle all right I have this balanced like on a machine okay so as you can tell I'm keeping it right up against the depth stopper so you do have to apply a little bit of pressure on this side to keep it against the depth stop. So right there, I've gotten to the seam. I don't want to go over it again. I'm going to crank this um, and I'm going to go backwards. Depending on your material and how thick your seam is, you're going to uh, eventually be able to, you could go over it a few more times. But what I'm doing is I'm cranking it a um, quarter turn every time. It does get really hard. I am using a triple bead, and you gotta make sure that you don't um, break your machine either. 
If you notice, my piece is already wired. All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna line this off, take it off, and there you have um, a triple bead. So on the inside, it looks like this. If you go too tight, you actually can split the copper in these grooves. So don't crank this too tight um, because while you are work hardening it, you're making the copper really brittle. So um, don't crank this too tight. Not only will you break your machine, but you'll split your copper. Um, anybody's bet which will happen first. Okay, so there you go. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to um, leave them in the comments. And uh, there is a feeding machine for you. Thanks for watching.